Hey folks, I was wondering if you'd join me quickly for a cup of morning coffee that I've just brewed up and a little bit of taste test. So this is a follow-up to my previous video, which was, just find a place to put that coffee down, a look at Gold Crown Coffee Brandy. I really liked this. I thought it was really good. And I was making my coffee this morning and thought, well, let's find out how this tastes with coffee. First of all, the ingredients, there is a shot glass worth of brandy in my, my uh, puffin coffee mug. Not that big of a mug, average size. With that is brewed just, just a few minutes ago, Folgers, can't go wrong, classic taste. Plus a little bit of flavoring because I like my coffee a little on the lighter side if I can get it, some French vanilla. All right, let's find out how Gold Crown stacks up in the coffee challenge. Very smooth. Uh, but it's a smooth brandy anyways. Um... I would say one shot glass is probably enough. Anything more would likely overpower the coffee. So I've actually discovered previously that the flavor of coffee can have a huge impact on the brandy. They don't always mix well. This seems to be reasonable, but it's not knocking my socks off. Um... I'm actually finding, having drank this and having drank so many other coffee brandies with Alan, uh, yeah, I, I think I would grow tired drinking my coffee laced with brandy on a regular basis. That's how I down the whole Alan's bottle, which you see on the shelf somewhere behind me. Um, yeah, I think I would get tired of this. It's good, but it's not great. But you can do better when it comes to, like, actually something that, like, tastes good, <laughs> you know. Or is something that, yeah, I'm, I'm not thrilled by this. It's not something I want to keep drinking. I'm going to finish the cup, but that, like, that's all I'm going to want is one cup. So that's my quick look at Gold Crown Coffee Brandy in coffee with a puffin. All right, thanks for watching.